Hello, welcome back to a street scrapping video. Um, I've just put a few bits in the back and it is boiling hot. I think it's the 13th of August. I had a real hot day yesterday. Um, yeah, so anyway, I've just unloaded the scrap from what you would have seen in the last video and well, the way and pay video, I should say. And like I say, I'm out street scrapping now. I've just picked up a cooker um, and a couple of other little bits. Um, not a lot about so far, but we'll see how we get on. And uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look, see what I've got. I've got uh, an oven and there's a hob to go with it. And then there's a hood there as well. I picked that up and I've just picked up this radiator, this little guard thing and a stainless sink. I don't know if it's stainless or stainless still, I haven't checked it, I just chucked it in. So that's all I've got on so far. Not so, it's been a bit of a quiet day. But um, here's what it is, nice bit of cord there, nice worm. So uh, yeah, so let's go and see what we can get. I don't know if you can see it. Water's dripping off all the way along there. Some pouring out there, look. So I've just picked a dishwasher. Well, no, it's not a dishwasher. I've got it wrong. It's a glass washer. Yeah, I picked up this. Well, I picked up some stuff from Momi Electrician, like people I deal with. And I picked up this. It was a glass washer from a pub. So, uh, you know, they asked me to pick it up in the corner, uh, down the line. So, um, yeah, I picked this up. But it was obviously full of water quite funny because it's running out by the front wheel when um you can see we're running across the band uh, so it must have been full right up yeah. so stainless on it that's stainless uh, yeah good 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 that's all I picked up today pretty shit isn't it but this was on the way back from the last uh, way in, so it's bad. But uh, yeah, we'll get this out and then we'll go out again tomorrow. Right. So I'm going to unload it now. It's cooled down a bit. It's, like, it's sort of evening time, about seven o'clock. So I'm going to empty it um, for tomorrow. Got um, BMX racing tomorrow. I'm going to start to sort out my non ferrous tomorrow as well. And then we'll go back to street scrapping again. But I'm going to empty this out anyway. Put it around the back. If I see anything that I've missed, I will film it as I do it. But um, yeah, let's get it empty so we can go out again. Just looking at this um, glass washer. And it's all like little brassy bits. And it's a lot heavier than a like a normal dishwasher. I mean, that probably, I mean, that might have been, that's got a like concrete or something at the bottom. That's, that's as heavy as a washing machine, I'd say. Yeah, well, you know, as a normal dishwasher, you can just pick them up more than one hand and just chuck them in the van. But that one, you can't. That little girl, like I say, that isn't that big, you know. About the same size as a slim line, I suppose. Well, you know what I mean, so but yeah, I have to feel, film that one when I take that apart. Right, it's a few days later, and uh, we're going out again. I've been told I've got some scrap to pick up at uh, the end of my route I normally do, normally do today, so I'm going backwards, if you know what I mean. I'm going the other way around. Um, yeah, I don't know what I've got to pick up, I've just been told of some bits. I don't think it's a lot there, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, let's get on with it and uh, see what we've got. Right, I've just um, picked up the stuff I was asked to pick up. So that's like these tools you can't see on these tools. They're all 110 volt. I think they all work apart from one thing. I'm not sure. We'll have to have a look. I you can't really see them, I know. And there's some bits of metal. Show you them when we get home. I've also picked up this uh, dishwasher, little slim line dishwasher um, from the same place I picked the cooker up from I don't know if it's in this video or the video before, I can't remember um, 
and the barbecue. Oh, and a couple, I just picked up a couple, bit, another couple of bits of metal as well. I'll explain that when I go to empty it. But we're gonna uh, have one more look round a place I normally go to uh, every now and again. It's not a regular haunt of mine. But um, we're gonna have a look at that in a minute, so we can find anything. All right, I'll move some bits so you can sort of see a bit better. There's a few bits of metal, a uh, couple of um, trestles, things here. And a few bits, and like I say, some tools we'll have a look at in a minute. There's a barbecue. Just washed it. Yes, it did come from the same one. That's the oven. It was the same place. That's the oven in the um, beginning of the video. More bits of scrap there. Like I said, I'm just trying to sort it out at the moment because I have a slight problem as I am also doing a non ferrous load and I'm putting non ferrous stuff in the way to get through the gate. So I'm trying to sort of show you this here and not show you the non ferrous stuff. <laughs> All right, so one of the things we got was a 110 bolt um, angle grinder. I don't suppose it's a little bolt. The discs in there are out of date, they're 21, so they're out of date. Um, I might just chuck it down the auction just for the hell of it. Um, I'll show you what's underneath that. Um, under that, a biscuit jointer, supposed to work. Again, it's 110, I say it's 110, it's not, it's actually 240. Yeah, so I'm at 110, but it's not, it's 240. I dare say Keith, Keith has got a use for that, so you can have that if you want it. Just thought I'll show you quickly what's in some of the boxes. That's a nice little set. They work, um, but the charge doesn't seem to charge, so I'll have to have a look at that. Show what's in the next box. Little laser set, but without the laser. Yeah, I've got one of them, so I've, still got, I've got a laser somewhere for that. Little drill, no charger. In this box is plain, that's, that's 110 volt. Another little laser, I've one identical to this. Used to shed bases with. Not bad actually for what they are. And there's two Hilti TE10 drills. One works, one don't. I don't know which one's which one's what. That's one underneath it. So yeah, I'll take them all down the auction, I think, get rid of them. Right, I think you've seen anything what's in the van. I can't uh, show you around the back because I've got stuff from the uh, school collection video I don't, don't want to give too much away so um, I'm going to take this out now and I'll start loading it for an unfairest video will be the next video so uh, I think that's it so I'll see you next time remember it's okay not to be okay and bye